the English setter, the German short-haired pointer, the German wire-haired pointer, the Gordon setter, the Hungarian Vizsla, the Hungarian wire-haired Vizsla, the Irish red and white setter, the Irish setter, the Italian Spinoni, the large Munsterlander, the pointer, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, the curly-coated retriever, the flat-coated retriever, the golden retriever, the Labrador retriever, the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, the American Cocker Spaniel, the Columbus Spaniel, the Cocker Spaniel, the English Springer Spaniel, the Field Spaniel, the Irish Water Spaniel, the Sussex Spaniel, the Welsh Springer Spaniel, and finally, the Weimarana. I hand you over now to Brian Leonard in the commentary box. Thank you very much, David, and good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. You see before you, once again, some of the finest dogs in the world. Our judge will have a first look, having seen them move across the ring, and go along the line. Here we have the dogs which were developed over the years to serve the people who enjoy shooting. But we must face facts that today, I would think somewhere between 85 and 90% of these breeds find a companion dog role. And the gun dog people have trained them very well for us and selectively bred very well for us who like companion dogs. They have given us what we like to term a biddable dog. And the dog which puts up with almost anything to please its owner. We should be grateful for that. Of course, having a well-trained dog is very important to everybody. No matter if you're taking your dog into the park or you're taking it out hunting, it needs to do what you tell it so that it does not annoy other people, particularly those people who are not particularly fond of dogs, who have children who they teach that dogs are dangerous. Dogs are not dangerous. Some owners are, I have to admit. First, under the judge's eye and hand, is the Brittany. These were judged by Mrs. Lay, and there were 59 of them. The winner was number 5436, and it is a bitch. A relatively recent introduction, this from France. Some say that the Irish hunting in France for woodcock were the people who encouraged this breed to exist. The Brittany Spaniel.
you'll excuse my addition of Spaniel. That's what it used to be called, but of course today it is just the Brittany. Now under the judge is the English setter, the epitome in many ways of English dogs. The judge was Mrs. P. Williams for dogs, and the bitches were judged by Mrs. R. Croft. We had 115 dogs and 136 bitches, making a total of 251 dogs to be judged. And the best of breed of this 251 was number 5553, a dog. The English setter, ladies and gentlemen. You will see various other setters during the course of this evening. This is the English, there is the Irish, the Gordon, and the red and white. Now, the judge is looking over the German short-haired pointer. The judge for this breed was Mrs. F. Roberts. There were 206 that she judged today, quite a handful. The best of breed was 5789, and it is a dog. originates from the Spanish pointer and Germany in the 17th century sportsmen wanted this type of dog that could be a pointing bird dog, a night trailer, a retriever and a family watchdog and a companion. And now the judge is looking at the very close relative, the German warhead pointer judged by Mrs. R. Martin. There were only 65 of these. The best of breed was 5933, and again, it is a dog. This breed was based on the short head pointer, the wire head pointer, ladies and gentlemen. The extra thick coat enables him to go through rougher cover without any damage. And now the second of our setters, the Gordon setter. With a name like Gordon, you must know he comes from Scotland. Judged by Mrs. E. Roberts, we had 152 to judge. The best of breed was 5991. 5999 and it is a dog. Gordon Setter, formerly referred to as the Black and Tan Setter. Obvious why. The Gordon Setter, ladies and gentlemen. He takes his name from the fourth Duke of Richmond and Gordon, who at the end of the 18th and early 19th century kept a large number of dogs at his Gordon Castle in Banffshire. Now under the judge, the Hungarian Vizsla. The breed was judged by Mrs. P. Blay. My mistake, Mrs. E. Hollings. There were 184 for Mrs. Hollings, and the best of breed was 6117. The first, no, the second bitch in the ring tonight. The Hungarian Vizsla. When the Magyars, who now 
inhabit Hungary moved from the east to the plains of the Danube, they brought this dog with them. It is a dog which has been popular in the UK in recent years. Next, we have the wirehead version of the Hungarian Vizsla. These were judged by Mrs. P. Blay. There were just 44 of this breed, and the best of breed was 6308, a dog. The Hungarian Wirehead Vizsla. This breed earns its money in Hungary because many sportsmen from all over Europe go to Hungary to shoot. He's particularly good at water work and wild fowling. And now another of our setters, the Irish Red and White Setter. The breed was judged by Mr. C. Atkinson. There were 101. The best of breed you see before you is 6419, and it's a dog. Before the Irish setter itself was established, this breed was the most prolific of the two. It went into decline, and in recent years has come back. The Irish red and white setter. A setter, of course, sets up game. It flushes it for the guns. And now, the Irish setter. In Ireland, at one time, these two were classified together, but it was decided that the red dog would be termed the Irish setter. The breed was judged by Mrs. M. Gittins for the dogs and Mrs. R. H. Ellis for the bitches. There were 200 of these today in the dogs and 194 in the bitches. The Irish setter. Best of breed from this 394 dogs was number 6726. And now the Italian Spinoni. No need to tell you where that comes from. The judge here was Mr. Frank Kane, who you sometimes see on TV talking about crafts. He judged 152 of this breed. It's become very popular recently. The best of breed was 6928, and it is a dog. the Italian Spinoni. The breed originates from northern Italy. It attained championship status in this country as late as 1994. And now the judge is looking at the large Munsterlander. The judge was Mr. S. Massey. There were 80 of this breed. Best of breed was 7047. And once again, it is a dog. Multi-purpose gun dog, this. Very ideal for the rough shoot. The first club for this breed 
from Munster was formed in 1919 and they had the first breed show in 1921. And now, probably the most elegant head in dogs, the pointer. Many sculptors have been inspired by this head. The breed was judged by Mr. S. Parsons. There were 138. Our best of breed here is 7111, and it is a dog. The pointer, ladies and gentlemen. First used in Britain in the mid 17th century as a partner for the Greyhound for hair coursing. And now the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, a visitor breed wise from America, judged by Mrs. Zena Thorne Andrews. There were 51 to judge. And this best of breed is 7202 and is a dog. The breed was created in the early 19th century from two particular animals, pups, a male and a female picked up from a boat that was sinking in the bay. Now the curly-coated retriever, judged by Dr. Barber. There were 74, and Dr. Barber came up with number 7266 as her best of breed, which is a bitch. The curly coat, of course, gives away to the knowledgeable that this is a dog which is at home in the water. Some believe this the earliest of the retrievers. It certainly won a first prize at the Birmingham Dog Show in 1860. The Curly Coated Retriever. <laughs> Will be in all weathers, this dog. Doesn't give a toss about the rain. And now the Flat Coated Retriever. Again, a very popular breed, divided into dog and bitch. The dog judge was Mr. R. Allen. Bitch judge was Mrs. M. Scott. There were 169 dogs, 223 bitches, making a total of 392. Indeed, a formidable lot to overcome. And our best of breed is 7513, a dog. The founding chairman of the Kennel Club helped to stabilize this breed. Now in front of the judge, the Golden Retriever. Again, a hugely popular breed. The breed was judged dogs by Mrs. V. Foss, bitches by Mrs. V. Birkin, 246 dogs, 300 bitches, making a total today of 546. And to come out on top of that huge number is our best of breed, 7873, a dog, the Golden Retriever. Extensively used by guide dogs for the blind, a very successful dog.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Labrador Retriever against a huge number of them who are here today. The dog judge was Mr. R. Wiles. The bitch judge was Mrs. M. Litherland. We had 236 dogs, 259 bitches, making a total of 495. Out on top came 8391 as best of breed, a dog. Labrador, of course, sometimes called Newfoundland, Canada. A dog for the water as well. And now under the judge, a breed with the possibly the longest name, the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. Breed was judged by Mrs. B. Hargreaves. There were 49 today, tolling their way around the ring. The best of breed was 8773, and it is a dog. The Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. That tail that you see is used when the dog is swimming to pique the curiosity of ducks who follow. And as a consequence, of course, they end up getting shot and the dog retrieves them. And now the American Cocker Spaniel. Often thought by many to be a derivative of the English Cocker Spaniel, but that is not in fact true. It is a partly Cocker Spaniel and partly American Brown Water Spaniel. In this country, I think there are only two or three which actually work in the field. A very beautiful dog, and if you enjoy coat, then that's fine. The judge was Mrs. E. Blundstone. There were 132, and our best of breed is 8855. And now the Clumber Spaniel. One of these breed has gone best in show at Crafts. The breed was judged by Mr. W. Ironside. There were 44 of them. Our best of breed here is 8954, and it is a dog. A breed which appeared in the very first stud book of 1874, the property of the sixth Duke of Newcastle. the Columbus Spaniel. We are accused of exaggeration today of some breeds, but in fact this breed was exaggerated in the 1880s and 1890s and then brought back to reality at a later date. And now, our very well-known Cocker Spaniel. Dogs were judged by Mr. G. Wood. Bitches were judged by Miss G. Williams. And therefore, you know there were a great number. 184 dogs, 198 bitches, making a total of 382. And our best of breed here was 9226, a bitch which overcame all. A breed which is thought maybe to originate in Spain uh, because uh, Chaucer in his early writings amongst lots of rude things did in fact refer to the Cocker Spaniel in the Wife of Bath prologue.
And now the judge is looking at the English Springer Spaniel. The judge was Mr. G. Clark. There were 199 English Springer Spaniels. Best of breed was 9398. Another bitch. Arguably, this is the oldest of the land spaniels. The English Springer Spaniel. Approved by the Kennel Club in 1902. Lacocca, the earlier one, wasn't approved until later, some 10 years later. And now the Field Spaniel. Field Spaniels were judged by Mr. G. Morgan. There were 99 of them. Our best of breed here today is 9573, a dog. The Field Spaniel. In our days of political correctness, it's interesting to note that this is another breed which in its early days was exaggerated with the length of its top line. But it has been brought back to sanity in more recent years. Beautiful working dog. The Irish Water Spaniel now under the judge. There were 44 of this breed. The judge was Mrs. Peggy Grayson. The best of breed was 9709, a bitch. Once referred to by an eminent writer as a bundle of rags in a cyclone. And now the Sussex Spaniel. The judge was Mrs. C. Williams. There were 57. Our best of breed here, 9713, a dog. Best identified by the long, low level outline and the coat color unique in dogs in actual fact, a medium shade of light brown with golden highlights, the Sussex Spaniel. The coat enables this dog to deal with the glorious English hedge, which needs a dog with a strong short leg that can penetrate the cover. The penultimate dog in this breed is the Welsh Springer Spaniel, judged by Mr. Ed Simpson. There were 176 of these, good to see. The best of breed was 9923, and it is a dog with this glorious mahogany and white color. Never mix it up with the English Springer Spaniel, or you'll be in trouble with the dragon the Welsh Springer Spaniel. And 
ideal all-around gun dog, which possesses great stamina. And finally, in front of you, the Grey Ghost, the Weimarana, judged by Mrs. D. Mosey. There were 267 of this breed. The best of breed was 10211, a bitch. Established in the court of Weimar in the early 19th century, The Grey Ghost. Popular gun dog who can also serve as a guard. Our judge, Mrs. Pat Rhodes, will now have a last look round before she pulls out somewhere between eight to 10, so that we know who is going to be first, second, third, and fourth in this group. A reminder, that if you're looking for a good companion dog and are not somebody who shoots, then this very biddable group may well serve your purpose and bring light into your life. Setter. German short hair. Black coated retriever. Golden retriever. Labrador. Spaniel, the Welsh Springer Spaniel, and the Vi Marana. Ladies and gentlemen, you see some of the most beautiful dogs in the world in front of you. The judge is now shaking hands with those that she has not pulled out. A very warm round of applause, please. I wonder if any artist has ever truly captured what we can see in the ring. The 
German shorthand point guard.
and fourth in the group, the Golden Retriever.